Hey and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing how to spawn AI into the scene as well as setting up some foundational code for the race position which we'll be doing in the next video. So with that let's get into it. So firstly we're going to start off in the sports car phone. We're going to create some variables. So in the variables click add and then the first variable we're going to add is distance point. This is going to be of type float of type integer sorry not float integer and we're going to put it in its own category we're going to call the category position and then with distance point selected hold ctrl d to duplicate and then we're going to add another one called position also of type integer and then we're going to add another variable called last distance This is going to be of type float and then the last variable we're going to call race length this is also going to be of type float and then that's everything for here I'm going to compile save close the sports car phone and then next we're going to head over to the race splash widget so here we're going to make a couple of changes First, we're going to add a vertical box. Add the vertical box just above the race progress and then add the race progress into the vertical box. Rename said vertical box to race info. Make sure to check is variable. And then with that, we're going to add a horizontal box into the newly created race info and then in the vertical box horizontal box my mistake we're going to add three text blocks and then the first text block we're going to hit it to fill change the text to a one change the size to 50. The second text block we're also going to remove that Send it into a divide signal, change it to fill, and then change this also to 50, the text size. And then the last one, we're going to change the text to a 3, hit fill, change the text size to 75. So we're going to compile, save, make a couple changes, resize the race info vertical box to fit everything. Make sure everything fits in, hit the race progress, hit it to fill, hit the horizontal box, hit that to fill. And then with that, we go head over to the graph. And then in the graph, we are going to add the sports car as a variable. So underneath the as vehicle player controller, right click, look for get player pawn. From the get player pawn, drag off and say cost to What's called porn? Connect the execution pin, and then from the S post card porn blue pin, drag off, promote to variable, and that will be that. And the event tick, we are going to drag in the as vehicle player controller, hold control, drag it in, drag off, look for get race complete, hold B, left click to add a branch node. Connect that to the condition, connect the execution pin. And then we're going to drag in the S sports car pawn, hold control, drag off from the S sports car pawn, type get position. We're looking for the get position variable, and then drag in the right, go back to the designer, make sure that the first text block we added to the horizontal box is set to is variable and we're going to change the text to player position and then the third text block we're going to change this to max cars also make sure it is variable compile save back to the graph so with that we now have the player position hold Control, drag it in from the player position drag off and say set text by the widget set text 
connect the execution pin from the branch node to false to the set text and then take the pin from the position connect it to the in text and then that is how we're gonna set this up so we want this to con to continuously update this how you're adding it to the event tick and we're adding it to the false for the condition so that for as long as the race is not complete it will continue to update the text with that done we're going to compile save and then we're going to come back to this in a little bit but for now we're going to head over to the player controller and then we're going to change out the race progress for the race info so we're going to do it quickly wherever the race tech the race progress is remove it and then replace that with the get race info so with that we're going to compile save head over to the pp tracker so in the pp tracker we're going to be adding some extra components in the viewport under the components add we're going to add a sphere just a normal sphere we're going to rename the sphere to position one we're going to set it to static and then also change its collision property so it says collision preset says block all change that to no collision and then we're going to duplicate this control p and we'll be position two compile head over to the level and as you can see now here with the uh, pp tracker billboard used to be there's now sphere selected make sure it's pp tracker selected and then down the details panel we're gonna come and select the sphere if you don't do that, what's going to end up happening, if you don't do the step, you're going to end up moving the entire tracker instead of just the spheres. So we're going to grab that and then just move it to somewhere on the road. We're going to grab the second one and do the same thing. Just make sure that it's above the road. And then we're going to remove the support, the AI sports car. Let's do edit. Remove that. Save all head back to the BP tracker. So now with that done, we can now go to the event graph and here we are going to add a function. This function is gonna be spawn AI. So in here, we wanna set the code to spawn the AI at the sphere locations. But first we need to add a couple of variables. So in the event, in the event graph, by the apply settings, dot sequence, move this up. And then from the set sports card, drag off and say get all actors of class. Class we're looking for is the BP AI spline. Out actors, drag off and say get a copy. And then from the get a copy, drag off and then promote to variable. This variable we call spline. We will be using this in the next video, but we're setting it up now so that we have less to do in the next one. Compile, add back to the spawn AI function. And then we're gonna create another variable. We're gonna call this cars. It's going to be an object reference to the sports car pawn. And it's going to be an array. Compile and save. And then hold control, drag in the cars variable. From the cars variable, drag off and say add. And then what we're going to add at the beginning is the sports car. So hold control and drag in the sports car variable. Connect that to the add. And then what we're gonna do is drag in the two positions, the two spheres, drag in both. From position one, drag off and say get world transform. Copy and paste and connect that to the second position. And then from the add, drag off and then say for each loop, for each loop. Drag off from the array, say make array. Add a second pin, connect the get world transform disconnect and then reconnect and then from the for each loop drag off from the loop body say spawn spawn ai from class the class being the sports car pawn child and then by the for each loop array element right click 
place drag pin, drag from the location, connect it to the location by the spawn AI from class. From the return value, drag off and say cost to sports car pawn. And then we're gonna drag in the cars variable again, hold control, drag off, look for add, connect the execution pin, and then connect the S sports car pin to the add. And then that will be all compile and save so with this code you are going to spawn two of the ai that we created into the level so let's just go check that out see if it works and then if you're still on the simulate click on the three buttons and then say selected viewport and the bp tracker in the event graph after the start sequence dragging the spawn ai function connect compile save head over to the level save all play the level so now there are two ai that was spawned so the code works and then since the ai just drives off we're going to quickly correct that in the ai folder open up the sports car phone child and in the on the event begin play we're going to create a new variable first in this, we're going to say start AI of type boolean. We're going to drag off from the set spline. We're going to add a delay by the switch. Add a delay. We're going to set the delay to the same as the player 4.3 seconds. And then we're going to hold Alt, drag in the start AI, connect that, and then set the variable to true. And then by the event, at the event tick, before everything else happens, we're gonna drag in the start AI, get, and then we're gonna add a branch node, connect that in between. So now the code will only start running after the 4.3 seconds have started. So let's see if that works. Compile, save, save all, play to the level. The AI isn't going anywhere, and then they drive off. Okay, so that's not done. And then we're gonna head back to the BP tracker because we don't wanna see these spheres when we're playing through the level. Click on these spheres, and then we're gonna look for the variable hidden in game. We're gonna check rendering hidden in game to true. Do the same for the other sphere. Compile and save, save all, check again, see if it works. Okay, the sphere is no longer up here. So that's that. We're gonna see if it actually did add the cars into the array. So from the cars variable array, drag off and look for length. From the add, drag off and then say print string. Connect the add to the in string. Expand, change the duration to 10. Compile and save. We just want to see if it added three vehicles to the array, which would be the sports car, the player's car, and then the two spawned AI vehicles. Save all, play to the level. Okay, so it's two and three. So there are three vehicles in the array. So with that, we know that the array works. So we can move this. So with this part setup we're gonna head back to the race splash widget and then we are going to create a new bind head back to the designer choose the max cars the text bind create binding and then with this binding we're pretty much just gonna do what we did now drag off from there get all active of class the class being the BP tracker. The out actors we're gonna get copy, drag off from get, look for cars, get cars. From the get cars, drag off and then look for length, connect the length to the return value, and then that should be everything. Just tidy things up a bit. So on this, drag over everything, comment, get all cars within array. So we're gonna compile and save. And then to see this works, we're gonna go back to the BP tracker, compile and save over here. And then we're going to disconnect 
the make array drag off from the array by the for each loop say make array and then only connect one of the cars compile save save all play the level so it only says there's two cars in the array add back to the pp tracker add an extra pin connect the bottom one compile and save save all play the level now it says this three cars in the array so the code works so that's it for this video we're gonna continue with the race positions in the next video so with that until the next video